Hey guys, Kevin here from Bone Zone Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a local Minecraft server on your computer. Now before we get too far into this tutorial, what I want to specify is that a local server is basically for you to play with people in your general area. So you would be playing with people in your house or on your same floor at college or maybe at your work or a gaming cafe. Um, this is not for people that are playing across the internet, across countries and all of the web. Um, so I just wanted to specify that. So you, there are ways that you can actually set it up in order to do that. You're going to need to open up different ports on your um, network. But you're actually going to need to know a little bit more about networking in order to do that without creating security issues. So in order to be safe, we're just going to be creating the local server for today. So to get started, we're going to go over to Google Chrome or your web browser. And I'm going to type in Minecraft.net. So once we get there, we're going to be looking for a button called Download. It's currently right underneath the Buy Now button, this giant orange one right here. So click on Download, and it's going to take you to this page. And what you're looking for is Multiplayer Server. So under that, you're looking for the Minecraft server.exe file. Now there is a Minecraft server.jar. Don't download that one. That one's for um, some extended stuff. So we're just going to get the .exe. So click on that in order to download it. It's downloading right now. I'm going to grab that out of my downloads have a couple of them downloaded here we're just going to show in folder minimize that and drag it onto your desktop so basically whatever browser you're using just manage to get this file onto your desktop and you can continue with this tutorial so once I have that there make sure you keep it away from your Minecraft icon because it looks the exact same and what we're going to do is create a new folder so I'm going to do new folder and we're just going to call this Minecraft server all right. Now you don't have to do this. This isn't really a required step, but it's going to create some files when you run this. So um, in order to keep those from being all over your desktop, I would just put it inside of a folder. So we're going to do that now. Drag the Minecraft server icon into Minecraft server folder. And so now it should look like this. So what we're going to do is just double click on that in order to run it. Click run if uh, you get a security warning. And it's going to have some stuff here. It's going to say warning, couldn't find the file. Um, that's because it's creating the files right now. You can see that in our folder, it's actually making all the files in order to run our server. So eventually it will be done, and so you can click the X. Sometimes it takes a second for it to actually close. Uh, so once it actually does, then we can proceed with some of the settings for the server. So the first thing I want to show you, um, there should be two different server files. Um, basically you can open them both up and whichever one looks like the one I'm going to show you, um, that's the one. I have this one right here, it's the lower one on the list. Um, it's opening with Notepad, so if you go right click on it and do open with Notepad, then you should be good. I have mine set to open with Notepad already. Basically this is where you can set some of the um, attributes for your server. So you can see that you can allow Nether, um, you can basically set up a server IP which we're not really going to do. You can turn on PVP or turn that off. Set the difficulty, I think one through three. The game mode, the max players, this is global settings. So this is going to be applied to every player that comes into the server. Now you do have settings over individual players that I'm going to show you later on, but this is kind of your general um, server stuff. So you can set some of this if you want, or you can just kind of roll on with the default. So I'm going to close that up. Now, what we want to do, um, we did close out of our server. You want to make sure you close it before you actually start running the game um, so that you can kind of get a fresh start. Now, it does create this world folder. If for some reason you start up Minecraft and you get a crappy world, um, you don't want to deal with it. For some reason, it puts you like a mile into the ocean and you're like, I'm not going to swim for it. Um, you can delete this world folder, start up the Minecraft server again, and it will create a new world for you. So I'm just going to start up the Minecraft server and run that. And the first thing we're going to do is op ourselves, which is basically um, making ourselves an admin. So I'm going to say op space kevtheman25, which is my username for Minecraft. So I'm going to hit enter, and it says opping kevtheman25. Now I'll show you how to do that on the server in case for some reason that didn't work, um, or you need to... Um, moderate you need to create other moderators besides yourself so we're going to leave this up whenever this is running your minecraft server is going to be on so if you close it no one's going to be able to get onto the server so i'm going to close that down we can minimize this then we can start up minecraft itself so i'm going to click run on that it'll load up and then we can log in i already have it remembering my stuff conveniently we'll full screen that Theoretically. Okay, there we go. So now what you need to do is click on multiplayer. 
and then we're going to click Add Server. Now you can do this one of two ways. Um, if one of them doesn't work, go ahead and try the other way. In the server address, um, the server name doesn't really matter, but in the server address, you're going to type local host and click Done. And if it works, you're going to see these bars right here show up. If not, there's going to be like a red error message. Now, um, the other way that you can do this is I'm just going to delete this one. Add another one again, server name does not matter. Um, your local host is always the same IP, 127.0.0.1. All right, so you can click done. Now, both of those should work. Um, if one of them doesn't work, try the other one. Um, again, you'll know if it's connected because it'll actually show up right here. So once you have that done, you can actually go into here and uh, you're going to be good to go. So pretty sweet. I got a nice, uh, nice server. It didn't sign me, or it didn't spawn me in the ocean, so that's always good. Uh, looks like there's actually ice. Cool. Anyway, so this is our Minecraft server. This is, uh, you own this. Pretty sweet, right? All right. So basically, I'll show you how you can actually give out the IP so that other people in your network can join it. Because right now you're the only one. So basically, we've created a single player map until you actually are able to give out the IP. Um, before that, I wanted to show you a couple of things you can do once you're in your server um, that basically are moderator rights. So you can hit T um, as my default type key if yours is different. Um, go ahead and hit that key. And then I'm going to say slash and then OP space KevTheMan25. Now this is the same moderator um, command that we used in the console, the server console. So if we hit that, it'll just say that you're now a mod. Now I should have already been a mod, but you can also use other people's names as well. So slash OP and then space the name that you want to create a moderator out of. Now, some of the stuff that moderators can do, you can hit T, and again, bring up your type. You can hit slash. Now, one of the things um, that you can do is actually take and set the game mode. So you can say game mode, and this is going to set it for the player that you specify. So I'm going to be creating this game mode for me. Everyone else is going to be playing in survival mode, but I want to switch myself into... Um, say creative mode so what I'm going to do is say game mode space Kevin man 25 so singling out myself space and then you put a zero for survival a one for creative or a two for adventure so I'm just going to hit creative so a one hit enter and now I'm in creative mode so if I go to my inventory you'll see I have all the fun blocks and I can fly by double tapping space and whatnot so um, and you can see that my health and uh, hunger level went away. So I can change that back if I hit T and then game mode give the man 25 and then a zero. So you can switch that for any player. Um, another thing that you might want to do, you can see where is the sun right now. It's right above us so it's directly at noon. Now if you're playing on survival mode and you just didn't uh, get enough done during the daytime and it comes out tonight and there's all the beasties running around trying to kill you, what you can do is hit uh, slash and then you're going to say um, time space set and then you're going to hit zero and it'll set the sun right back to dawn so you'll have another full day in order to work on whatever you're doing in survival mode. So those are the couple things I wanted to actually show you in the server. Um, there are some more commands you can find online but those are the ones that you're probably going to use the most. So I'm going to flip out of this so I can disconnect here, close Minecraft and what I want to show you now is how you can actually take and have other people join your server because right now it's basically a single player server labeled multiplayer so you want to actually be able to play with your friends right so we're going to show you how to actually allow them to join so we're going to go to our start menu and I'm going to type in CMD for the command prompt so it's going to show up right here and what we need to do is actually type in IP config if I spell that right so I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, all one word, hit enter, and it's going to bring up a lot of stuff about your computer. Don't worry, it doesn't do anything to your computer. It just shows what the IP addresses are for your local network. So um, some people might try and get past this by just going to Google and typing, what is my IP? That is not the IP that you're looking for. You are looking for your local IP, not your external IP. So if you went to Google, it would give you a different IP than the one you're looking for. So what you're looking for is this IPv4 address, all right? So mine is 192.168 and then some other numbers. So write that down. Give that to whoever you want to join your server on your local network. They'll type that in when they add the server, and then they'll be able to connect to it. So then you can have basically a multiplayer server for uh, people around you. So um, it can definitely be a lot of fun, and I uh, hope you guys have fun setting up your servers. 
I know I've set up a couple of local servers before, and it's pretty fun uh, just playing with some of the people around you. Um, so, hope you guys have a good time doing that. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment uh, to this video. I do have a new video coming out every week. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, in my next video.